Uh, back that a little bit. Oh, he missed again. Shelton's not good with a chair, apparently. Oh, there he goes. I, I think he hit both of you. <laughs> oh, now it's going to get real. Oh, wow. Look at the, uh, the sparks. Yeah. Pretty awesome. All right, well, we're looking at the game here, uh, Corey, but I know that you guys did a lot of stuff with creation this year while we're playing. Tell me, tell me about some of the creation stuff in the game. Uh, really, creation is kind of first and foremost for this year's feature sets. Um, we've overhauled our Create a Superstar, which is our most popular mode. Uh, we've added a bunch of new customization modes as well, like the paint tool that allows you to create your own tattoos and logos. Um, we've also added the ability to change um, the Superstar's costume colors as well. So you can go in there, and if you think Miz should be wearing all pink, because real men wear pink, That's you right. can represent that in the game. Why do I gotta wear pink? It's just a, it's just a choice. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing wrong with pink, is it? Yeah, nothing wrong with pink, but I, I uh -huh. this is no, it's not pink. It's maroon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a manly maroon. Uh, and then also, yeah, you know, I I have to mention that we also are doing a, a story designer this year, which That's is very huge. cool. It's yeah. first year you can create your own storylines. Um, you can have them be as long as you want, whether one show or two years long. You mm -hmm. can you can do that. And you can put your creative superstars in your stories. You create your own cutscenes too, which is really cool. And you write your own dialogue with the keyboard or your or your controller. And you can type in your own dialogue for your stories as well. And maybe even more importantly than that, but anything you can create, you can share, right? That's correct. Uh, online, we have this new feature called Community Creations. It uh, allows you to post any content you create in the game online for other people to download. Yep. So if you create a really good uh, superhero or former wrestler or someone you want to represent in the game, um, you can go ahead and search for that keyword mm -hmm. online and then download that for use offline or online in your game. Very cool. Donald Trump available? <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to definitely Someone will make them. <laughs> <laughs> you have to spend some time on that hair. I got your chest uh, bright red there. It's matching, yep. matching your future pink costume. So it looked like earlier uh, Morrison's uh, endurance meter or whatever that is at the bottom was flashing. Does that mean he had his uh, finisher ready? That's correct. That's okay. his momentum meter. So oh, as that starts to yeah. fill up, um, he'll go ahead and uh, he'll get his finisher. Right now I have his signature move stored right there. It's not stored, but it's available, and I can use that um, if I have Miz in the right position to use that. You won't have me in the right position because I'm going to beat you. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we have enough time to get to the end of this match, but thanks for that look at the game, Corey. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Right now, we're going to throw it over to Homer Rabar and Howard Finkel, who are standing by with the fourth and final round of our uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 draft. Well, Brian, this is it, the fourth and final round. Time to hear what divas are making their way into the game. Let's hear it, Howard. Okay, Homer. The Divas being drafted into WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 are Brie Bella. Nikki Bella, E, Mickey James, Kelly Kelly, Gail Kim, Maria, Maurice, Michelle McCool, Melina, Natalia, and the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. And there you have it. We've heard all the superstars and divas that are now officially announced. With additional alumni, you're probably already seen in the ticker. Either way, I have to imagine fans are happy with the lineup. Back to you, Brian. All right, good picks all around. I'd say a lot of divas, but the most important one is joining us right here. Eve, it's your first time in the game. That's right. I was so excited to see myself up there. It looks amazing. It's, it's all of the divas look so beautiful, so amazing. I'm just really, really excited to be part of the roster. Hey, Liz, if you can, if you can scoot back, you have. Oh, wait a minute! Sorry, if you can <gasps> give Eve her spotlight I now. Have my we own have jersey. a. Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> number one. Whoa! Oh, oh, no, wait. oh number no, one. Yes, please. Another look at number this. one. Wait, how many number one draft picks Another do you really have? One. Well, there's a diva number one. So I know who I'd vote for. That's right. That's why Me, I like right? you, Yeah, uh, yeah, you, absolutely. Unbelievable. Thank you, Corey. This is amazing. But I'm just happy to see so many divas on the roster this year. I'm excited about playing with Kelly Kelly or Maurice and beating Eve. Uh, so it's going to be great. Like, just playing and beating the crap out of Eve. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to be rookie of the year this year, okay? Mark my words. But <laughs> Eve makes a good point, Corey. There's a lot of divas in this year's game. Yeah, it's a large diva roster. Uh, it's something, you know... Some pit fans actually ask for more divas, and uh, we actually have just a wide roster in general, which is a lot of talent on there. So we're happy to represent the divas, and they're a big part of the WWE, and so they should be a big part of the game. All right, absolutely. absolutely. And that, right now, we're going to hear from some of those divas, get their reaction to being inducted into the draft, into the game. 
my gosh, thank you guys so much. We want to yes. thank our fans. You guys are the main reason why Bree and I got into SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. Most important, I thank my tag partner here, Nikki Bella. Uh, and thank you, Bree. And Double Trouble will be kicking butt, so make sure you play us, because we will win. That's right. There you go. There's, uh, there's a look at the, uh, the Bella Twins doing their thing. Now it's time to take some trivia questions. Sean wants to know, I noticed the, uh, this may be a question for Eve, I noticed the Divas can fight in cage matches. What other match types can they battle in? Well, I, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know that because I haven't played the game yet, yeah. but I think it's very cool that we can do cage matches. Yeah, it's about time. Hopefully yeah. we'll bring that arrow back someday. Yeah, it's something that we actually restricted in the past, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously, you know, fans want to be able to do whatever they want, so we want the fans to be able to, you know, have Divas in there for these extreme matches and to, you know, play those matches with the, with the, the, the Divas mm -hmm. and have fun with that, and so we hate restricting the user, and, you know, we want to avoid that as much as possible, so something the fans have been asking for, and something cool we can bring this year. And there's more to learn about match types. We're, we're going to be, you guys are going to be revealing more in the future, right? That's right. We're definitely going to be revealing more. Um, each year we not only add new match types, but we improve some of the existing ones and the, mm -hmm. the real famous ones. So uh, we'll be happy to announce that later on GameSpot. Yeah. Hopefully on GameSpot we'll see more about match types. Right now let's have another question from the audience. Or not. Or, <laughs> there we go, Walter. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Who are your favorite people to play against? in SmackDown versus Raw 2010. Let's take it down the line. Uh, who, who, Eve, who would you well, like to, to, to go I would guess that I w my favorite person to play against would be Michelle McCool. Uh -huh. She's now the women's champion. Right. And that's my goal right now, is yeah. to become women's champion. So of course I want to play her. Take down McCool. Miz? Right. Anyone that's not me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would like to take on Kofi Kingston. John Morrison, who is the Marty Jannetty of our tag team. Right, right. Um, you know, anybody, it doesn't matter, John Cena. Yep. I can actually beat him in this video game. There you How go. How about that? That'd be, huh? be nice huh? to see Corey.